Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Tea Time with the Tates, where we discuss the Tate family devotions. When my wife and I first got this book for our daughter, I was super excited to start reading this for our family devotions. Unfortunately, I quickly realized that it wasn't going to be as beautiful as I pictured it to be. I imagined us reading through and Isla being enamored with the story and in awe of God's power, captivated by the illustrations. Nope. I'd start reading, and one word in, she's dancing around, bumping into her sister, and now I have one child bouncing off the walls and another child crying in pain. All that to say I was over the idea of reading to her. I tried making up excuses as to why I should quit, and I immediately felt the Holy Spirit say, do not stop reading to her. She will learn the discipline of reading her Bible if you are disciplined to read it to her. Immediately I felt convicted. I picked up her Bible, I sat her on my lap, and I told her to listen. It's not always perfect, but it's a beautiful time that I cherish with my family, and it's developing healthy habits. Sometimes we make excuses to avoid doing the things that God wants us to do. I'm reminded of Moses when God spoke to him through the burning bush and called him to do what he thought was impossible, to free the Israelites from Pharaoh and the Egyptians. Moses was hesitant. He tried to make excuses. He was feeling inadequate and unsure of his abilities to speak or to lead. But God assured him, saying in Exodus 3 verse 12, I will be with you. And this will be the sign to you that it is I who have sent you. When you have brought the people out of Egypt, you will worship God on the mountain. Moses might not have been qualified for the job, but that didn't stop God from calling him to do the impossible. When God asks us to do something, he also provides the strength and the resources to accomplish it. The storybook says right here, God spoke from a burning bush and told Moses three very important things. I am the God of your fathers. I have chosen you to save my people and I am who I am. In other words, I have a big task for you, Moses, but do not be afraid. I am a very big God. Moses would be the deliverer, but God would be doing the rescuing. And just like I said in the last, uh, yesterday's reading, each of them close with a prayer. And this one says, thank you God for hearing our cries and for caring about our troubles and saving us from our foes. In Jesus name, amen. May we be encouraged to trust God's call on our lives, to rely on his power in the face of challenges and to walk in obedience, knowing that God is with us each and every step of the way. I will see you tomorrow. God bless you. Thank you.